Welcome back to another lesson on fractions and I uh, just got a picture here and some questions to get your brain started here. Um, this group of children is ready to learn about fractions. They look really excited, don't they? And But what fraction of the group is girls? What fraction of the group is wearing blue? And could you come up with some other fractions to describe these children? All right, so today we're going to look at fractions as a part of a set, we'll say. And so I have a set number of stars here, and I can start by counting, and I can see that there are six stars. And I could say five of the six stars are yellow, and five-sixths of the stars are yellow. So I could write a fraction for this set here, five-sixths are yellow. Um, I could also, I guess, said one-sixth is blue, um, but five-sixths of these stars are yellow. I could also say that there are 12 spots in an egg carton, a dozen as we say, and eight in this pit, the top um, carton here in this picture, eight of these 12 spots have eggs in them. And I could say eight twelfths of the spots have eggs and four twelfths of the spots are empty. So that's really it. So I'm going to get to try this one. I have all these pets here and all of them have uh, escaped. And there is this is a picture of them before it happened. What fraction of this set are dogs? What fraction of this set are cats? And what fraction of this set are four-legged animals? I'll get you to pause that, come back when you're ready. Okay, so we're, first we're gonna deal with these dogs here. And I see that first we need to count how many animals there are because we need a denominator. A denominator is counting, here's the whole, all these pets. And so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pets. So all my denominators are gonna be out of seven. And so how many are dogs? Well, this guy's a dog, this guy's a dog, and this guy's a dog. And that's it, so three-sevenths of these pets are dogs. And what about cats? Well, like I said, there are seven um, pets here. We're talking about sevenths here. I have one cat here, one cat here, so two sevenths of these pets are cats. And then lastly, how many of these are four-legged animals? Well, um, a cat and dogs are four-legged animals. These birds are not four-legged animals, so I could go one, two, three, four, five. So five-sevenths of all these pets are four-legged animals. Now, I didn't ask any questions about birds, but I mean, if we had birds, we could have two-sevenths are birds. Um, if we're talking about black things, two-sevenths are black, um, brown, etc. We can make different fractions up for any set. Um, so just trying different fractions from sets. Now, I'm going to go back to this picture here, and I'd like you to try this out. How many you know, what's the fraction of this group is girls and what fraction of this group is wearing blue? Pause it, come back when you're ready. Okay, again, first step is we need to establish how many are in this set or how many are in this picture. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten children. So it's going to be out of ten or tenths. And so the question was what fraction of the group is girls? Well, girls, denominator 10, 10 children. So I have one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven. Seven tenths of these girls, or sorry, seven tenths of this of the set of children is girls. And then I asked what fraction of the group is wearing blue. Um, this guy's wearing blue, and this girl's wearing blue. I think that's it. So two tenths of this set of children are wearing blue. So there you have it. You can look at a group of things and make a fraction out of it by counting how many there are in the set. That becomes your denominator. And then just counting what you want to count becomes your numerator. All right, guys, please remember, in life, math happens. Take care.